I'm here at NARIAD's headquarters in Washington, and joining me today is Henry Chamberlain, President and Chief Operating Officer of the Building Owners and Managers Association. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, Chris. It's great to be back. Thanks for having me. What were some of the primary issues that your members took to Capitol Hill last week during your organization's annual legislative conference? Well, typical taxes. We're going up there. Leasehold depreciation is big for us. The tax extenders expired at the end of last year, and they probably will not be acted on until the end of this year. So leasehold depreciation getting back to the 15-year schedule instead of 39, and brownfields and a bunch of other tax incentives are um, in that package, but we're going to have to wait till the end of the year. Politics is playing out. Um, carried interest, big for our members. You know, it's the partner's interest in a long-term deal, the general partner. Um, they want to tax that as ordinary income. We think that's a capital gain, and we think that makes a big difference on development. That's still in play. We're not really making much traction there. Um, there's a new uh, bill being proposed on ADA, which allows owners to remedy situations before they are sued. Uh, for accommodating some sort of accessibility. Um, so we talked about that. And then also energy bill. We're still waiting to see whether we're going to come up with an energy bill. You've got the Better Buildings Initiative out of the White House. But really in the middle of that, we would like the voluntary marketplace to work through tax incentives. So we're really looking for a vehicle that we can get some energy legislation going. So those are really the four things we were doing on the Hill. In your opinion, what is the biggest single challenge and biggest single opportunity facing commercial building owners today? Well, I think the challenge is figuring out the business. There's still a lot of uncertainty in terms of finance on the debt side. Where, what are the banks going to be doing in terms of lending? What are the politicians going to be doing in terms of the taxes and the rest? Regulatory environment, what new regulations are coming out? What fees are going to be put on top of the industry around the country? So people are really trying to figure out the business right now. Uh, and then I think for the folks looking out into the future, trying to figure out what tenant spaces are going to look like in the future. We've got this mobile world. People are working off of their PDAs or their iPads. They don't need office space quite as much. So you hear a lot of conversation about consolidating space needs, creating a different open workplace, or leveraging technology in a variety of ways for remote work teams to come together. So if you can figure out how to service those tenants and get there first, that's a great brand recognition, some great value. So trying to figure out what the future of the office space looks like, I think, is really the opportunity. The people who get there first make the most money. Now, you recently announced that 30 more buildings received the BOMA 360 designation. Can you tell me a little bit about how this program differs or complements other designations? Yeah, BOMA 360, we just passed 350 buildings in two years. So fast-growing program. Um, I like to think of it as a BOMA best practices building. So it's operations, it's security, it's sustainability, energy efficiency, working with tenants, working within the community. So it's really a holistic building certification designation. Um, so different than the purely green uh, designations that are out there. Um, I think they all fill different needs in the marketplace. So it's part of creating a big green menu of options. So if you've got ABC buildings in different markets, what would make the most sense for your owner in terms of increasing their performance and, of course, the net operating income for those properties? So 360 is filling uh, the holistic need for the folks that are looking at, let's do the operations, let's emphasize what our management team can perform, tells the tenants they've got a really good space. Um, the initial surveys we've done, tenants are seeing value, extra value from a Boma 360 building. They're also feeling more secure in their property because of the way the buildings are managed and maintained. So it fills a different niche out there, but you know there's a big menu of green options out there, and it's one of them. Thanks again for joining us today, Henry. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm Carissa Chappelle for REAP.com.